Hello, this is uh, Shep here, Sun Valley Auto Club. We got Troy behind the camera, and it's 964 day. We just did a cab. We've got a ton of coupes in uh, under our roof right now, but Targas are really rare, pretty hard to find, and it's just a fun car in the whole Porsche 911 lineup. This one is, it's always lived in uh, really dry climates, Texas and then California. This one has been owned uh, by the second owner since 1999. Um, Carfax or AutoCheck will show a, a title in, I think, 14, but that was uh, the same owner in this, in this book right here. We've got um, no records from the first owner, but going all the way back to 99, where it shows up that uh, the first time it changed hands under, under the same owner that we bought it from. So well documented from 99 up. The 964 is a really fun story. The, uh, the basically the uh, the 911 was the same from you know mid 60s all the way to 88, and then they totally for the first time 85% new parts launched this 964 line starting in 89, and they just really just rode on all the coattails of the supercar that they made the 959. So the all-wheel drive, um, it just it was 85% new, and it really wasn't super well received. It took a while, and especially now, I mean, people they were kind of forgotten about for a long time. But they're they're wild, they're fun to drive, air-cooled, hand-built. Um, certainly something that will continue going up in price. This one, like I said, underside is gorgeous. Um, you might notice in some of the photos actually the uh, the tailpipe uh, dangling at a weird angle. That's my fault. We like to measure all these cars because uh, not everybody will, if they have an accident, send it in to uh, a body shop under their insurance or have the cops called. So in order to get to one of the measuring points, you have to loosen that tailpipe, and uh, we just forgot to tighten it for photos. So we'll swing back through here, but all original body panels. Everything is in really good shape. The paint is excellent. Low production numbers on these targets. They are, um, so in 89, you could only get an all wheel drive manual. And then um, in 90, they started, you know, with Cabriolets and Targas. Uh, 91 had the most Targas uh, produced and only 746 of those coming into the States versus like 1100 and some change for the rest of the world. This is a, uh, a US car sold here originally for the US market. And you can tell that with that third brake light uh, up there as well as just the history on the vehicle. But Targa's super fun, a little tighter than a, um, a convertible, a little bit more structure there. But that nice thing is that Targa top just folds right into the front bonnet. And so if you're out cruising and then you get into some bad weather or it gets chilly, you can just throw that on, throw on the heat and off you go. We'll take a look at the interior. There's really nothing on the body to, to kind of warn or show you. There's no major uh, damage or really even minor dents to show off. I think let's go look at those rear lenses again. I, you know, you'll see some little bit aging and cracking, which is normal. If they sit outside, and we've seen plenty of those, this thing is all the way just kind of blown. This little diamond right there, that shows you that is, that is the original. The reproductions don't have that diamond. So that's just another one of those small indicators. Because um, Carfax and AutoCheck, even though this is a 17 digit VIN starting 82 up, they're really fuzzy on these early, early cars if you can get good information or not. So those telltale signs help out a ton. So the target is just a manual, manual release. We've got plenty of photos of that. We're gonna go for a drive, it's a beautiful day. So our target top is out, but look at those photos for the quality there. But door panels work, all the windows work. 
This is a Tiptronic. So the precursor to the PDK. Really low miles on this one, 67,000 miles is all. I've had this one out on the on the highway, just locally here, pretty small area, but um, about 11 miles up to, to catch them. Cruised this out just as I was talking about, jumped in, beautiful warm summer night, time we got done with dinner. Uh, it was late, it was nice just to pull that Targa out of the bonnet. Turn it, you know, turn off the AC and, and turn the heat on. So it's a really good three season car, no doubt. We'll turn it on and kind of show some of the lights and brights. Toy's giving you a good look at the seat bolsters. Really super supportive. You know, you see a little bit of wear, which would be natural in that leather, but certainly no, no cracks or any other damage. The shift boot's in good shape. Garage capped. So your dash is great, no cracks. All your gauges are, are nice, I've seen some gauges. Since we do touch so many 964s where they're, they're peeling or just smudged, these ones are just really clear. All your interface surfaces are just clean and precise. which just spins around and gives you a, uh, a blank face when it's done. So the blow punct is gone, but you do have aftermarket there. Tiptronic does work. I had some fun just driving it around, just even using. So, if you want a little bit sportier, that tip does give you some, some manual control. But a lot of fun just to crank around, you don't have to worry about shifting, and you still have that true sports car feel. Hey, I was looking at all the uh, <laughs> seeing if there's any warning lights on the dash. I'm like, oh, that fence is coming up. But all of our warning lights are, are off. They're on when you first start, like every 964. No clunks or anything with that transmission, just strong and tight. Drive it like a sports car, that's what it is. So if you want a rear collectible that you can actually jump behind the wheel, put some miles on. All these Porsches are happier with miles. Some of the best 964s that 
that I've driven are in the 140 to 160 range. This has 67, super tight. It's a car that you can just get in, enjoy, drive, and then uh, enjoy the, uh, the rise in the market as well. So this is Shep, Sun Valley Auto Club, 208-721-1973. Contact me, 208-721-1973, and we'll get this in your garage.